And while we didn't have the snow to go along with the cold temperatures, look where those highs got to today. Well below average by almost 20 degrees. And in case you're wondering, uh, as far as the record lows for today's date, uh, yeah, it's been a while since uh, we've seen uh, temperatures this cold here. Uh, Jacksonville 35, we got up to about 38. So again, just barely above that number we saw back in uh, 2016. Not as cold as it was this time back in uh, 1994 in Kinson, where they only got to 17. These are the record cold high temperatures for today. But when you look at the encompass of everything, we have not seen a daytime high this cold since Christmas Eve of 2022, where we only got to 30 degrees. So uh, it's definitely been a long time since we've seen a cold shot like this. And we're going to be looking at temperatures back down into the teens and low 20s as we had overnight tonight. When not doubt areas of the cold spots like Keenansville, Kinston, Richlands, Jacksonville area gets into that, uh, say, 12, 13 degree range with those lighter winds. Now the winds don't go come if they were it'd be even colder than that tomorrow we're looking at temperatures only a couple degrees warmer than where we were today upper 30s to near 40 positive side is though not quite as windy for us here but still well below average in fact as you step out the door if you got any overnight plans we'll see those single digits and teen feel like temperatures for early tomorrow morning. So if you're headed out to early church, dress warmly. Again, it's not going to be excessively as windy tomorrow as it was today, but still only feeling like upper 20s to low 30s for us tomorrow. You saw the uh, San Francisco game it had the rain uh, quite a bit of that. That's the next weather maker coming in on the West Coast. Big high pressure though dominating east of the Mississippi River and that's going to allow us to see plenty of sunshine and eventually start to warm us up. Not until though that high pressure slides offshore as we head through tomorrow going into Monday, then we'll start to turn those winds around. So still dealing with those northerly winds tomorrow. That storm system coming into California makes its way out into the central plains. Now it's a little bit of a trade off here. It's going to be a very slow developing system as that high slides offshore and still holds on to dry weather for Tuesday and Wednesday, but we'll turn that flow out of that southwesterly direction, bring the clouds in here, but the showers really don't get in here until maybe Thursday or Friday. And even at that, most of the storm track will be off to the west. We'll just see some scattered showers around for us here. But the trade off is we warm the temperatures up. So we had the sunshine with the frigid cold temperatures this weekend. Now we warm those temperatures back up almost double as to what we've been here this weekend temperature wise. But we do get more cloud cover in here as we head through Wednesday and then by Thursday, Friday and maybe lasting even into Saturday. Not all day rain outs, but at least scattered showers will be around. But I think a lot of people will take the showers in the clouds with the warm temperatures as opposed to what we had this weekend.